Dogs are used by armies all around the world. They are seen as vital assets to military operations. Most of the time there is a big and strong bond between the military dog and its handler. But their position in military changed over the centuries and they serve many different purposes. The first war dogs were used thousands years ago and their purpose was to break up enemy formations and kill as many enemy soldiers as possible. They were in the first battle line. First recorded war dogs were used about the year 600 before Christ by a Lydian king who used them against invading Sumerian army. War dogs were used by almost all major civilizations, including the Egyptians, Greeks, Persians, Slavs, Britons and Romans. Especially the Romans were known for using the Molossus, which was extremely strong dog, specifically bred for the battle. Today the dogs are not used in the first line to break up the enemy formations. The armies are too modern for this and it would make no sense to use dogs like that. But that doesn't mean that they do not have any purpose in the army. On the contrary, as the military modernized, so did the military dogs. We gave the dogs armor and we even bred dogs especially for the war purpose. And their role changed as well. Most of the dogs in the modern warfare were used as messengers, patrols, guards, scouts, but even as mascots for the moral boost. In the First World War, dogs were mostly used as messengers. The best known dog from this world war would be the Sergeant Stubby, who participated in 17 battles and captured a German spy. There were some exceptions when the military dogs were used directly for fighting even in the modern times. During the Second World War, the Soviet Union deployed dogs trapped with explosives against invading German tanks. It's believed that US military trained dogs for the same purposes, but luckily, luckily for the dogs, they never used them for this purpose. As I already said, most of the dogs in modern warfare were used for logistic and communication purposes. They were pulling guns, supplies, wounded soldiers, distributing vital messages. You might be actually surprised what breeds were serving as war dogs. For example, look at this little Yorkie. Her name was Smokey and her small size helped her to run with telegraph wire through a pipe that was 8 inches in diameter. This ensured communication without moving troops into the line of fire. People do not have the best senses like seeing, hearing and smelling. We are not very good at those things. And that is why we can use dogs to help us in this area. That is why many military dogs, thanks to their great sense of smell, are used for tracking and detection. Some dogs are able to locate mines, which is extremely helpful for armies all around the world. Dogs can also track down lost soldiers. Because of the dog's keen hearing and smelling, they also make extraordinary scouts. They can detect danger from much larger distance than average person. Scouting dogs are able to identify the opposing threat within 1000 yards of area. And of course, one of the most popular general dog purpose next to hunting and herding is guarding. So it's no wonder that militaries use them as sentries and guards as well. They can guard borders, warehouses, guns, supplies, just anything. Some dogs were used as moral boost and mascots for the soldiers. Because let's be honest, dogs have the magical power to release stress from us. With dogs, you can just for a while forget where you are and what is your situation and enjoy the moment. These days you can hear a lot about heroic tasks dogs made in the Afghanistan, Iraq or so-called Islamic State. Belgian Malinois helped to capture Osama bin Laden and the leader of the Islamic State not so long ago. The Shepherds are the most widely used military dogs in these days, especially the Belgian, Dutch and German Shepherd. They are preferred for their aggressive but loyal and smart nature and athletic body. Labradors and other retrievers are also oftentimes used by military, especially for smelling and detection purposes. Sometimes you can even find some terriers, for example the Airedale Terrier, in the military as well, but they are very rare nowadays. Dogs are valuable helpers for most armies in the world and they are able to perform truly heroic tasks. Tell me in comments what do you think about dogs in warfare? Do you think it's possible that they will be replaced by modern technologies or do you think that we will see them serving this purpose many years to come? If you are new on this channel consider subscribing, turn the notifications on, check our Instagram, Facebook links are in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.